Join me today on board Brisbane's oldest bus 626 for a tribute to the Scania L94 pupil. The fact that I'm on Brisbane's oldest bus is pretty cool. Um, I was really hoping that I was actually going to be able to show you the last one in service here, but it all worked out. It took a while, but it happened. The fact that there's only seven of these left makes it all the more special that I actually got the chance to travel on this oldest one and share that experience with you. It's a bit bumpy and noisy though. And it's a bit bright because it's just about to go four o'clock, but I'm glad that I am actually able to share this little trip with you because who knows, it's probably not long left until they um, retire these old scanners. So I want to bid them a worthy farewell. As new Volvo B8 RLE buses enter the fleet, the venerable Scanias are facing retirement, so I thought it was time to pay tribute to their service. At the time of filming, there are just seven left in the fleet according to BT Buses, the Brisbane Transport Fleet lists. These buses have been a staple of north and south side transport services over the years, travelling along busways and suburban routes between the city and key centres such as Chermside, Garden City, Carindale and Toomble. While 625 was the first to enter service, 800 was the first built as a demonstrator bus and it made its way around to many Aussie operators before returning to the city in 2004. It had different seats and hopper windows that could be opened if extra air was needed. Action in Canberra is perhaps the other most notable operator of the type, albeit with their buses featuring a different body. The diesel version of the L94UB is also popular with a variety of Queensland operators, including Bus Queensland and Hornybrook bus lines, as well as many other states using the type. The Scania was not Brisbane's first low floor bus. The city had already purchased the Volvo B10L, but the Scania was the first properly large order of accessible buses in Queensland. They replaced a host of late 70s Volvos and early 80s MANs, and they were far quieter and more refined with air conditioning and fixed windows. Well timed with the new busways, the Scania's being delivered matched the clean and modern infrastructure with clean and modern buses to fit the build as well. Since late 2000, most of these buses have probably clocked up close to a million kilometres each and the need for compressed natural gas to reduce emissions has been overshadowed by Euro 5 and Euro 6 compliant diesels and more recently electric power. Thus the era of the Brisbane Transport Scania is sadly almost at an end. Now at one point in time the thought of catching a Scania like this was mind numbing to transport enthusiasts. There was a time where the Virginia Depot's fleet was entirely comprised of the Scania and that made Northside travel pretty predictable. But over time, as high floor buses like the Beaton M's and the early low floors were replaced by modern diesel power metal, we warmed to their presence as a key part of Brisbane's transport history. So it'll be sad to see them go, but there is a great future on the horizon for Brisbane's transport, 
particularly with Brisbane Metro design and construction work commencing soon. Once again, thanks for joining me on Talking Planning and I'll see you again soon.